Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm back, guys. All right, so we're going to do how does the masculine uh, feel about the divine feminine? All right, so we're going to use the Twin Flame Journey Oracle deck here. And we're going to get a message with see what all we can dig up, all right? So if you are new, welcome in. I am the Empress. Happy to have you here with me today. All right, we're going to do uh, how does the masculine feel about the divine feminine. This is a collective read, so it's not gender. I mean, I'm sorry, not gender. It's not sign specific. It's a collective read, okay? Dark night of the soul. Twin flame. Inner child. Yeah, this masculine is stuck. Okay, this masculine here is stuck. They need your guidance. They're going through some type of grief. Okay, see, yeah, some of y'all are in separation from your masculine. I see a union here, um, and I also see separation. So some of y'all are separated, okay, from your masculine. They've been going through hell, okay? They feel stuck, and they're trying to find their way back to you. Um, they're in this dark energy, though. You got dark night of the soul. They could get, they're kind of like in this devil energy. The devil, you know how that spooks people out in the tarot deck, but the devil is like addicted, addictions, um, kind of like in your lower vibrational energy sometimes, um, codependent, obsessive, possessive type of energy. We got twin flames, so they do feel this connection. Like this connection is very, very important to them. They could be going through some things that they could have masked from their inner child from their childhood i'm going to clarify more of that but i do see like this union is currently in separation and this person thank you spirit this person has been grieving ever since they feel stuck and they're trying to find their way back to you okay they're trying to find their way back i'm hearing gotta find my way back Way back to you, baby. Trying to find my way back. Way back to you, baby. Yeah, I'm hearing that. This this masculine is in hella grief. All right. Before I move on, I want to see what's going on with this inner child here. Let's see. Are they having, like, issues from their childhood? Why is the inner child here? Oh. So some of them may have a child that they are having to spend a lot of expenses on, okay? So I'm seeing that as well, too. So this person could actually have a child or children that they're actually having to do a lot for at the moment, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's pull the tarot. Let's see what, what messages we get. What else can we get? What move is they gonna are they gonna make towards the bottom name? Like I'm getting like this karm this I'm not karmic. This uh masculine is really lost without you. I'm lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? Robin Thicke. Yeah, look at this. Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords. They're not sure how to express themselves to you. They're not sure if you're going to pick up if they call. They're not sure how to even come at you. They aren't sure how to come at you. They've been praying on it. 
asking to find their way back. Look at this, Six of Cups and the Six of Swords, okay? They've been praying, like, literally praying. <laughs> Please bring us back together. We got the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, the Devil, the Five of Wands, the Emperor, and the Chariot. Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, the Tower, and the King of Pentacles. All right, I'm picking up Capricorn really, really heavy with this Devil and this King of Pentacles here. Picking up on Aries energy as well, but it definitely is a masculine energy. This person is fighting. <laughs> this person could be fighting their own demons. You hear me? The Five of Wands and the Devil here. This person might be like, you know what? I need to go to church. I need to. I need some help. I need to. They. I'm getting like this person is feeling like they need some help. Why is the devil here? No will. I guess I'm getting. I'm definitely getting that. This masculine played some mind games with you in the past, okay? They played they played a mind game with you in the past. And now that they're thinking about it, it's on their mind a lot. It's on their mind a lot. How they treated you, it's, it's been on their mind, okay? Maybe this person feels like they need to, got some work to do. They need to change their image. I'm also seeing that this person feels like if they give you some space or some time, this person is trying to give you some time. We got the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, Four of Swords. They're trying to give you some time. Yeah, Three of Wands. They're waiting. They're clearing their head. I'm hearing clearing their head. Keeping to themselves um, right now. I don't feel like they feel too good about themselves. They got their they got a lot of issues that they need to clear up. So they need to clear their they're clearing their head and in the same sense they feel like they're giving you some time and some space. Now the hierophant is here, it could be a Taurus. Yeah, this person they're trying to kind of like slow themselves down. I feel like there was a lot of disagreements, arguments, competition. Um, yeah, okay. I'm hearing you thought I wasn't going to go nowhere, but it seemed like you seeing it firsthand. This person is trying to prove some type of point, but they're hurting themselves in that process, okay? We got the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords. They're driving themselves crazy trying to prove a point. Okay, trying to prove a point. They're driving themselves crazy trying to prove a point. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, I feel like there was a breakup or argument. Yeah. Um, this person is going through some type of healing process. Okay, but it's, it's deep. Okay, it's really deep. This person is really fighting, battling something here. Because we got the Five of Wands, Three of Swords, and Temperance. This person is really battling something here. They're really battling something here. This is a battle, spiritual battle. I'm getting like a war. This person is feels very deeply about this situation. This person is waiting for some type of you to give them some type of sign um, that give them the courage to come back. But I, I just feel like they're waiting on you to give them give them some type of give them something that will give them the courage to say, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back there. Until then, this person is fighting. It's like they're fighting for their life over here. I'm not laughing because it's funny, but it's just like. What's the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah. This person may have 
started going to church thinking that that was going to help them kind of slow them down. They're doing everything to kind of slow down the thoughts in their head, the things that they're thinking, how they feel. Um, I don't feel like this person feels okay. They don't feel okay about not being with you. Okay, now why is the page of wands here? Queen of Swords. The challenge is coming to you and telling you some type of truth. Okay, so this is a challenge. Could have been about a third party. Why is the Queen of Wands here? And the Moon, yeah. Okay, so this person has a truth. The truth is that they have somebody that they could have been dealing with on the side or they're dealing with someone. Okay, and this is supposed to this is something that was supposed to be a secret. This person is fighting this battle every single day. Now we got the emperor here. This person could have lost friends and everything. This person could have been losing friends because he wanted some attention. He wanted attention. He traded a lot of friendships for attention. He didn't have nowhere to go at the time. Um, he's trying everything to do to do things the right way. But it's like, he, I'm here and I keep messing up. I keep messing up. Like, this person is really battling with themselves every single day. Every day. Now, we got the chariot, okay? To be a cancer. This person is going towards possibly a Leo. Someone that they could have been dealing with in the past. I see the Empress and the Six of Cups. What's the strength card here? Nine of Pentacles. This person could be trying to find the confidence to come towards you. But they know when they come towards you, they got to come towards you straight up. Straight up. And they got to come towards you single. They can't come to you with this, uh, this third party energy in the in the picture this person is trying to work on themselves and a lot of things that they want to do or are trying is trying to do is being put on hold they be they were forced to make some type of decision we got the seven of wands and the seven of cups about a relationship he could this person couldn't make up his mind on who or which direction to take. And I feel like this is beating this masculine up every single day. This is the battle. Uh, this person was forced to make some type of decision. I feel like now they're looking back at the situation with regrets. Yep. They feel like they didn't make the right choice, the Four of Cups. Okay? I'm telling you, walking away was hard for them to do. They regret this every single day. They regret it. They sit by themselves and they soak. They sit by themselves and beat themselves up about it every day. Some Somebody that they're dealing with or when they're around people, they always bring up the past. They bring up the divine feminine here. They're always asking them, what did you see? What is what is divine, divine feminine saying? This person feels like they messed up big time. We got the tower. Oh, excuse me, tower here. They're kind of they're surprised at themselves that they're like things are falling apart. They were afraid that things were going to fall apart when they made this decision. They're having regrets, and they want this chapter to be closed. They want to close the chapter here. They want to end something. What else is going on here? The death. They want to, they want this chapter to be closed. They want something here to end. Listen, they're saying, "What? Why? What made you leave? What was the last straw? Can we have a new beginning? 
they they oh they're having an awakening they're going through an awakening okay they're going through this person is going through an awakening okay this could be a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn with this King of Pentacles here and the Justice but see this is a karmic situation this is a karmic situation and I hate to say it like that but what goes around comes around why is Justice here the Fool and the Ace of Wands. They wanted this new start. They wanted it. They got the Divine Feminine to walk away. They got Divine Feminine to walk away. They wanted this new start, right? They got it. They made a bed. Now they're laying in it. When all this person wanted was you. This all this person wanted. But they know that they took things too far. They know that maybe you're done with them. They overdid it. It's overcooked. And they're pissed at them, at themselves. At themselves. They're mad at themselves. They know that they have to come to you with some type of truth in order for you to forgive. Um... They feel like you fell out of love with them. They're worried about that. Like this person is, I'm telling you, this person is battling, battling this every day. I tell you, they sit back and they watch you. They're reminiscing. They're sitting up here reminiscing. How they played mind games and how this, how the cookie crumbled. They know they didn't make the right choice. They thought that they made the right choice in the beginning, but that's how karma works, okay? This person did not treat you fair. This person did not treat you right. Let's pull these. Let's pull a few cards from this deck right here. What does this masculine want to say? What does this masculine want to say to you? The masculine. What does this masculine want to say to this divine feminine? I want to feel that way again. I want to feel that way again. Whoever they with, they're not getting the same. It's not the same. I wish I could share my good news with you. I told you, didn't I tell you they was waiting for some type of sign from you? And I'm telling you, they knew that they crossed some type of line with you. One more. I am not available. They're, they're distracted. They got somebody distracting them, um, which is causing more pain, okay? They feel you even though y'all are apart, okay? Let's pull three of these from, from the blunt uh, truth oracle this time. What does this person want to say to the vibe feminine? I'm going to contact you. I need to speak to you. My higher self is trying to reach you. Will you wait for me? Have you moved on? I'm worried. Give me one more card. What does this person want to say? I can't let go of the past. This person is still holding on to the past. They have not let you go. Um, even though they're with someone else, they still constantly think about you. They're uh, battling this. This is a battle. This is a battle for them. They have not let go of the past. I feel like they should have cleared that before they jumped into something else. So, if I'm telling you, they made that bed. They're waddling in it. They're waddling in it right now. Okay, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, y'all. I'm going to chat with y'all later.